Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about work problems, and I know that sounds very generic, but it's a very specific type of problem where you look at this person can do this much work in this amount of time, and this person can do the same amount of work in a different amount of time. How long would it take them if they work together? So it's a really specific type of word problem. So we're going to follow some very specific steps. Our first step is going to be to set up the equation and we're going to use the same general setup each time. You do one divided by the first person, we'll actually put the person's name in, plus one divided by the second person equals one with them working together. That's going to be our, our setup each time. And then step two, we're going to figure out what is our lowest common denominator or our least common denominator. We'll hereby refer to that as the LCD, so we'll look at how to find that. Step three, we're going to multiply the numerators by the LCD. And then step four, we're going to simplify and solve for x. Okay, so let's look at an example together. James can paint a house in 14 hours. John can paint the same house in 12 hours. How long would it take them to paint the house together? We're going to use that setup that we described in step one. We're going to write 1 over our first person, who would be James, plus 1 over our second person, who would be John, equals 1 over them together. So how long would they take if they worked together? Now instead of having the name, we're going to rewrite the setup, but instead of James, we're going to replace it with how many hours James can work. So we said James can work 14. So we're going to rewrite this as 1 over 14 for James plus 1 over, and then John was 12. So we'll write 1 over 12 equals 1 over together. Now we don't know how long it would take them to paint the house together. So that's our x. That's what we're looking for. So now we want to figure out what would be our LCD for the step two? What would be our least common denominator? Now, looking at this, we have two whole numbers and then we have X. So let's note the LCD over here. When I look at this LCD, I've got 14, 12, and X. LCD is what do the numbers have in common and what do they have different? I wanna know what is the lowest number that both 14 and 12 multiply into. That can be kind of tricky, especially as our numbers get bigger. It can be really hard to tell, like, what would my LCD be without having to do a bunch of multiplication? And if you have to do that, that's fine. But I'm going to show you a calculator trick that you can use. Hit math. And we go over to number. And then we want to go down to number eight. So you can either scroll down or you can just hit number eight. And you'll notice it says LCM. So LCM is the least common multiple. It means the exact same thing as LCD. Uh, you'd want that. So you want to type in the two numbers uh, that we're looking for. So we are looking for 14, and then we use this comma above the 7 and 12. We want to know the LCD of 14 and 12, and it will tell us it's 84. Now, the one drawback to using this trick is that it will only do two numbers at a time. We know that the LCD between 14 and 12 is 84, but we can't forget that we have something else over here that these two numbers have different. In common, 14 and 12 have 84, but then we also have this X hanging out, so we need to include that in our LCD. So now our next step says multiply all the numerators by the LCD. So we'll multiply 1 by 84x, 1 by 84x, and 1 by 84x. So that's pretty easy multiplication, right? 1 times anything is just exactly what you start with. And then we'll have plus 84x over 12 equals 84x over x. Now we want to actually divide. 84 divided by 14 is going to give us 6x. And 84x divided by 12 is going to give us 7x. 
And then for this one, our x's cancel. Notice how you have one in both the numerator and the denominator, so those cancel and we're just left with 84. Now we'd want to combine these like terms. 6x plus 7x is 13x equals 84. Our final step to get x alone is divide both sides by 13. And then we get x equals, now 84 divided by 13 actually gives us an, a decimal, right? We don't get an even number, but let's look at that. So 84 divided by 13, we get a decimal. Now it didn't tell us how to round at all, but let's just round to the nearest tenth. That would make this 6.5. What that tells me is that if John and James worked together, it would take them approximately 6.5 hours. Let's look at two more examples. So the first one says Scott can complete his chores in five hours. Ryan and Scott together can complete the chores in two hours. How long would it take Ryan to complete the chores on his own? This one's asking a little bit of a different question. It's still the same idea behind it of we've got two people working and then we have some information about them working together. But this time our setup's a little different. But let's start with the same. So we know we have one over our first person, Scott, plus one over our second person, Ryan. And we know that they, if they work together, that would be what it would equal. So one over together. Let's now replace Scott with how many hours it would take him to do his chores. So we know it takes Scott five hours. It takes Scott and Ryan together two hours. What we're wanting to know here is how long it would take Ryan alone. So this time our X goes for Ryan. That's what we're wanting to know. Because we know that together it takes them two hours. So it's important to understand the difference. You really have to look at what are they asking you for. Ryan is the X in this case. Now let's figure out what our LCD is, our least common denominator, between five x and 2. Well, let's just look at the 5 and 2. So what's the lowest number that 5 multiplies into and 2 multiplies into? And hopefully you're thinking that it's 10. 5 will multiply by 2 to get 10 and 2 multiplies by 5 to get 10. That's the lowest number that they have in common. But what if you weren't sure of that? Could you use this trick? Absolutely. And I'll show it one more time. We go math over to number, number 8. LCM, and we want to know about 5 comma 2. And we see that our LCM or our LCD is 10, okay? So we have 10, and then don't forget, we also have an X there. So our LCD is 10X. So what do those numbers have in common? 10. What do they have different? X. We want to multiply each of the numerators by 10X. And we can rewrite this, so 1 times 10x is 10x over 5, plus 10x over x equals 10x over 2. 10x divided by 5 is 2x, plus 10x divided by x, we'll notice those would cancel, so we're just left with 10, and 10x divided by 2 is 5x. Now we want to solve for x. So in order to do that, I'm going to bring my lower value of x, 2x, over to the higher value, 5x, by subtracting it using our inverse operations here. We've got 5x minus 2x. Well, that's 3x. And let's bring down our 10. And our last step to get x alone is to divide both sides by 3. And 10 divided by 3, again, we're not getting a whole number there, so let's look at what that decimal would be. 10 divided by 3 gives us 3.3 .3 repeating. So again, let's just round to the nearest tenth. Let's just say it's approximately, x is approximately 3.3 .3 hours. 
So what that tells us is we know it would take Ryan 3.3 hours if he was doing the chores on his own. Let's do one more together. To dig a 15 foot by 15 foot hole, it takes Sarah six hours, Jill eight hours, and Chloe 12 hours. How long would it take the three to dig the hole together? So we know how long it would take them individually, but what if they all work together? How long would it take them? Notice we have three people this time. On the last two, we just had two people. It works the same way. Our setup would be very similar. We're gonna say one over our first person, Sarah, plus one over our second person, Jill, plus one over our third person, Chloe. And that gives us the total amount if they would work together. So let's fill in what we know for each person. We know it would take Sarah six hours. We know it would take Jill eight hours. We know it would take Chloe 12 hours. And we want to know how long it would take them all together. So together is our X in this particular problem. Let's figure out what our LCD is. Six, eight, 12, and X. So we know that X is something that these have different, right? But what do six, eight, and 12, what is a multiple that would be the same for them? The lowest common multiple. Remember, I told you that that calculator trick I showed you, it doesn't work if you have three numbers. What could we do then? We can literally just write out. So six, let's think of what all the multiples of six are. Eight and 12. And let's try to get something in common for each one. So six times two would be 12. Eight times two would be 16. 12 times two would be 24. Let's now look at three. So six times three would be 18. Eight times three would be 24. So we already see that 12 has 24 and eight has 24. Let's see if six has a factor of 24. And if again, if you know your multiplications, you're probably thinking, uh, yes, it does, but let's just be sure. So six times four would give us 24. So notice how the lowest number that they all have in common is 24. So that tells us the LCD is 24, and don't forget about our X. Our next step is to multiply all the numerators by the LCD of 24X. And let's go ahead and rewrite that. So we've got 24X divided by six plus 24X divided by eight plus 24x divided by 12 equals 24x divided by x. Well, let's actually divide these down now. 24 divided by six we know is 4x. 24x divided by eight would give us 3x. 24x divided by 12 would give us 2x. And notice here our x is 24x divided by x, the x's cancel, and we're just left with 24. We'd want to combine our like terms here. 4x plus 3x plus 2x, that's going to give us a 9x equals 24. We'd want to divide by 9 on both sides, and we get x equals, now 24 divided by nine, that definitely is gonna give us a decimal. Let's see what that would be. 2.6 repeating, so let's say that would be a 2.7 approximately. So x would be 2.7, we're talking about hours, right? So keep in mind what our answer is. So we're saying that if Sarah, Jill, and Chloe worked together, it would take them 2.7 hours to dig this hole. Okay, here's one for you guys to try. I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.